Welcome back to Cyberhack. So I had originally scripted an entire video in my notion, ready to speak on this. And then I come across this article on LinkedIn. And I was like, this makes total sense. Like, why reinvent the wheel? Why do I need to speak on something else that's already existing? Well, there is some key points I want to make. My opinion, my takes on it. And I want to go over this article. It's from LinkedIn. But before we do that, there's 70% of you guys who are watching my videos and you have not even subscribed. Please help me. If you subscribe, it keeps me motivated and I put out more content and, you know, hopefully we could build a community together. So let's go into it a little bit more. AI SOC is dead. Long live agentic MDR. So Microsoft definition of MDR is managed detection and response in a cybersecurity service that helps proactively protect organizations from cyber threats using advanced detection and rapid incident response. Very, very sophisticated, very fancy. Great. So what does that all mean? AI SOC was heavily marketed through 2024 and in 2025 is effectively finished, not because AI failed. Makes sense. AI didn't fail. If anything, we're hearing more about it now and everyone's jumping on this bandwagon. But because the operating model never aligned with how real sec uh, security operation actually functioned inside a SOC, the promise sounded autonomous, but execution still depend on human for decision, validation, and response. So basically they're saying, even though you implemented this really fancy, sophisticated, really expensive AI, a human still needed to be there. Makes sense, right? Humans still need to utilize the AI tools to do its job. But that may be changing right now. And we're going through this transition, unfortunately. So over the last two years, we watched vendors wrap LLM around SIM, label the results as autonomous, and then discovered that the system still hallucinated on tier one, tier two tickets while humans remain on call at three in the morning. There was not a, res a revolution in security operations. And it was no more than a productivity tool pretending to be execution. So this tool, this advanced AI LLM around the SIM was supposed to detect, contain, eradicate, and then like produce a report to tell you that I don't need a human being to be here to guide me for tier one, tier two tickets. But unfortunately that wasn't the case. It didn't work out as planned. And a lot of vendors or companies or products just sat there and like, well, uh, yeah, it didn't work the way it's supposed to work. So you need to configure it on your own or figure out what the hell you're going to do. Again, that's going to be changing now. And for the worst part, it, it's actually not benefiting level one, level two guys. But previously it was 2024, 2025, SOC one, SOC two guys. You're always wanted, always needed. You're always going to find a job. 2026, not too sure right now, but I have my own opinions about that. So let's continue. As we move into 2026, the market is starting to correct itself in an obvious way. The shift is not from manual to generative, uh, generative AI, but from a generative to agentic. Uh, that difference is operationally significant rather than cosmetic. So it's not just the looks of it, but the functionality. So let's, let's understand what that actually means, because now we're going to take IBM's definition of what the difference between agentic AI and generative AI. And the key difference here is agentic AI describes AI systems that are designed to autonomously make decisions and act with the ability to pursue complex goals with limited supervision. I'm going to stop right there. So what's the difference from generative AI? Generative AI is artificial intelligence that can create original content such as text, images, video, audio, or software code in response to a user's prompt or request. So in short, generative AI sounds more like you need more human interaction, where agentic AI requires less human interaction. And that's a key difference here because now they're trying to shift over to agentic AI for these tools. So let's continue. In 2025, version of AI SOC focused on summarizing logs, explaining alerts, accelerating analyst workflow. It could describe what happened, but it could not take real responsibility for fixing it. That, because you needed human interaction to do that. 
the outcomes still depend on human intervention, effectively making a software with a service attached rather than an actual operational model. Just explained it, right? It makes sense. Human still need to come in after the AI and say, yes, you're right. Let's block this. Yes, you're right. Let's contain this. No, you're wrong. Release. Okay. In 2026, agentic MDR model should look fundamentally different. It is built as a system of agents that execute the SOC process in practice, not just on a slide. Detection is followed by verification, containment, remediation, and validation. The system can confirm a user via Slack, rotate and compromise Azure key, isolate an endpoint, and observe the result. At the same time, human supervised behavior handle exceptions, and continuously refine the system. Hmm. If AI could do all that, and all you need is one person to validate the things that AI has been doing, basically giving it a scorecard and saying, hey, you did a great job here, or B, you uh, misidentified something, or why didn't you contain this machine when you were supposed to, right? Uh, you're basically going to be having arguments with these AI <laughs> agents uh, that you probably won't even get anywhere with it. The scary part to all that is that SOC level one through whatever, the lower tier SOC guys are probably going to be shit out of luck finding a job because if, if agentic MDR takes place and it actually does all this, if it does all this, uh... That's pretty scary, right? Anyway, let's see what else this is going to say here. What the market is asking for now is better search. Not better search. Sorry, it's not better search. It's not asking for better search. Better summaries or large contacts window. Its outcome is based on security measured by fewer tickets, faster containment, lower analyst fat, uh, fatigue, and an op absolute reduction in operational load. Wow. So... My summary on that is that do the work, crazy work, look at everything, complete the shit, all the, all the work that you need to do, uh, and not a single human needs to touch any of those uh, low-end SOC tier 1, tier 2 tickets. That's basically what, what that sounds like to me. And uh, you don't need to have a SOC analyst sit there and going through tons of logs trying to figure out was there an insider thread or, you know, was it going out to an IP address that it shouldn't have been? Crazy, right? So the future of security operation will not be measured by how many tokens a model can process, but how many, how many incidents a agentic system can fully resolve without waking up a human. <laughs> the last thing I personally want, um, if something was really severe, I probably would like to know about it. And I'm sure you can probably configure that. But imagine, imagine in a world where you get like these high severities and not one human is on a call and the machines are all taking care of everything. And by the time you walk in the office by 7.30, 8 o'clock, everything's all resolved as if nothing happened. I mean, that sounds like a perfect world, but we don't live in a perfect world. I mean, sounds like a dream, but everyone can dream and it may not play out that way. I just don't, man, as much as I would love that as a business owner, as a CISO, what? No, no issues? I'm happy. But for the guys who are working in this field, cybersecurity, trying to get into it, break into it, trying to maintain or stay relevant in it, having a tool to do all that, where does that put you, right? We are moving away from human in the loop towards human on the glass, where analysts supervise architecture and behavior instead of turning the operational crank. This one paragraph right here is just, it basically summed up everything. It, it does. It sums up to the point where I don't need you to sit in between an event and figuring out if this event is a false positive or not. All I want you to do is sit in between you and the keyboard and tell AI or whatever this tool is if it's doing its job correctly or not. Most of the time, it probably is, and you would still probably have to figure out and question yourself if AI is doing it correctly or not. Uh, hmm, that's, that's tough. That's really tough. So, I mean, 
they're taking the human being out of the work. They're literally taking you out of the work and sitting you behind the screen to say, AI did this, AI did that. Hmm, it looks right, I guess. We're good. Like, no threats, no harm, no no ransomware, no software malfunctioning anywhere. <sighs> scary, scary, yes. 2026 is not about AI as a feature. It's about agentic system as an operating model. And a uh, nice depiction of a... Uh, you know, this whole rip AI sock, just the chatbot wrapper. That's true. That is true. But as the tools and the advancement of AI, agentic AI takes place, getting smarter, less human interaction, thinking on his own, less hallucination, puts a lot of these cybersecurity jobs on a whole different realm. Right, we we need to focus and and understand AI tools more than anything else right now. Uh, looking at sim logs is probably a thing of the past. Not to say that you shouldn't know how to. It's a it's a skill. It's an art. But it may be a dying art. That's my point. So I want to thank you guys for sitting here and going through this article with me and just trying to understand where we are in current times 2026 you know this is this is new uh i had a discussion with someone recently and, and it was like this whole job market thing where technology is like where's the jobs and how come they're not hiring this is new revolution this is nothing that history has ever done before you know we we've had economic issues in the past but it was never, never, never technical economic issues. This is technical. AI has definitely replaced a lot of functionalities a human used to do. But I'm not saying that AI has completely replaced every single human that has been doing a job. You, there's a difference there. So, um, you know, comment your thoughts below and, and let's have a, a discussion about all this. Uh, thank you and, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.